Avila appealed to both of these qualities. She's material for a journalist and a writer. Far beyond my modest approach to literature. I imagined that I would find a defensive woman who would be constantly rejecting the charges made by the public ministry against her. To my surprise, the opposite was true. She wasn't at all defensive. Little by little, she described how she saw the reality of her life. I think to write a book that explores the entirety and multiplicity of drug trafficking, one has to have lived amongst them for a long period of time or some time. In the book, I tell the story of a priest, a friend of mine, who says that the poor are the only ones who know poverty, and others who speak about it are simply tourists of poverty. I would say that I am a privileged tourist in the world of drug trafficking. But to dig deeper, you must live amongst them. I think in this regard, the contribution Sandra Avila provides is of tremendous value because she opens many avenues of investigation.